let's say you get trapped in a room. There's no way to escape the room. You might be on the sixth or seventh floor of an apartment building and you don't have an emergency escape and you don't really want to jump. First thing you do, make sure you call 911. Tell them exactly where you are. Also, call a friend. If you've got other people in your prepping group, call them. They're going to be actively making sure the authorities rescue you. If you were in bed and you just got up, make sure you put some clothes on. If you're in your pajamas or in a pair of shorts, that's not what I want to do to fight a fire. I'm going to be fighting all the way. I'm not going to give up. So make sure you put some clothes on, some good shoes on. Next, you went to the door. The door is hot. You can see smoke starting to come through. You're going to go ahead and seal your room up. You can't escape, so let's fight it. Seal the room up by taking towels from the bathroom. Hopefully you're in a bedroom and there's a, a bathroom attached. Fill up the sink with cold water. Fill up the tub with cold water. Then take all the towels you can find and go ahead and seal all of the cracks in the door. If you have a vent in there from air conditioning, go ahead and seal that as best you can so smoke doesn't come through the vent system. Okay, as soon as you get that door sealed, you're going to even seal it more. Get the mattress off the bed. Prop it up against the door, making a tight fit, and put some furniture behind it. Don't put so much furniture behind it that it takes firefighters forever to get through. But put enough there to hold that mattress firmly against the door. Then, probably you'll have a small trash can in the bathroom. Get that, fill it full of water, and keep dumping it on um, the mattress, soaking that mattress down, soaking the door down. This is going to buy you valuable, valuable time. Next, we don't want you breathing any smoke that comes into the room. Get a towel. Go ahead and wet the towel. Do not wet your clothes, but wet the towel. You're going to be breathing through the towel. You're going to be breathing through your nose, not your mouth. A lot of people uh, during the excitement will not remember that. So if you could, when you put it on, take the bottom of it and put it in your mouth and bite down on it. This will force you to breathe through your nose. Next, we're gonna, if we have windows in the room, go ahead and remove all the curtains around the windows, throw them on the ground or wet them. Uh, these can catch on fire very easily from outside heat. Next, if you do have a bunch of smoke in your room, stay low. You can also open the window, don't break the glass. The problem is the room next to you might be on fire on the outside and that smoke is gonna come right through that broken glass and fill your room up faster. So if you can, open it just a little bit and that way you can breathe some fresh air. Also by removing the curtains, what you're telling people, hopefully the firefighters will see that curtain removed and it does stand out. If all the other ones have curtains on and yours is the only one, they're going to be keen in on that and trying to get a rescue crew to you. Continue fighting. Don't give up. A lot of people have given up. Um, other people have decided to jump. Now yes, uh, when you breathe in smoke you're getting confused, you're scared, so your rational thinking is not there and so some people have jumped. Do not jump if you can hold on a little bit longer. A lot of times people have jumped and in just a few more minutes uh, fire rescue would be there at their door. If you do have to jump, make sure you jump away from the building. Don't fall away. You're trying to get away from the building so you don't hit the building going down or you hit any of the other architectural features of that building. So jump straight out. That is a worst case. Um, if you're trapped, fight. Keep wetting everything down from the bathtub and the sink uh, and you have a better chance of surviving.